What's going on, guys? Just want to jump on here and tell you that yesterday was absolutely terrible. It sucked, and work was hard. Um, it was just physically taxing, mentally draining. Just trials, problems, adversity, and to the point where I was just physically just in pain. And uh, it was coming home and bringing my baggage home and um, taking it out on my family and just being short and ugly and going to bed last night. And it was waking up this morning and it was just God convicting my heart and uh, reminding me that, you know, we're going to spend a majority of our life in the valley. And what do I mean by the valley? Valley is where the problems lie. That's where the, the, the trials are. That's where the issues And are. also that's where fruit is produced. And, um, you know, I just want to remind you that we're not going to spend a majority of our life on the mountaintop. You know, the mountaintop is what it is. It's, it's to go and three. And then so guess we, what? You're quickly coming back down into the valley. And so, you know, I want to encourage you as Roman five says, Romans five says to, you know, allow suffering to produce perseverance and allow that perseverance to produce character. It's just like that process of, you know, gold being refined. Guess what? The gold has to be put into a hot fire. And when it's put in that fire, guess what? The impurities are filtered away. And so just like you going through things that you're going through this life, allow those struggles to purify you. Allow those to push you. Um, don't allow them to get the best of you. And just remember that as you're going through these struggles, you know, fruit is being produced in your life. If you so allow. today, my friends, you have a choice. You can allow your struggles and your trials to push you, to purify you, or you can allow them to completely destroy your attitude. What are you going to choose?